Hi, this is Bill Satry, and I am again interviewing Jeff Watkins, and it's been a while. Jeff, how are you? Couldn't be any better, Bill. I appreciate you having me on. It's great to chat, great to catch up. Thank you. This guy is keeping <clears throat> George together, like he's got buyers and sellers, and he isn't paying me. This is not an endorsement, but I want to tell people that are living in St. George and people that are, are looking to buy in St. George, I feel it's really important to understand these statistics that we're going to share. And we'll try to take the emotion out of it, but I'm going to share as an analytic, uh, an analyst, what's going on here day by day with your property and whether it's smart to sit on it for another year or sell it. And when we show these statistics, I think it may change the mind of some people to be a, to wake up to what's going on. So tell me a little bit, Jeff, what's going on since we've talked last. Yeah, there's there's a few things. I think that the top top three things are um, inventory is steadily declining. Prices are exponentially increasing. And, um, you know, cu coupled with both of those things is simple economic supply and demand. Um, new construction is can't keep up. I mean, building material. I, I called this morning to a company here in town. Um, I ripped my basement apart, kind of like kind of like you did. And I need some baseboards. There's not a building material in town selling any baseboards to ca selling anything to cash customers right now. You can't just walk. They won't sell you stuff. If they have it in stock, you can't walk in and buy it. And you know what was funny? About four months ago, the Lowe's stores here were packed full of lumber and they had just tumbled the price. <clears throat> I guess I should have bought a ton and just stuck it in the backyard, right? But when I was building this basement here, my biggest single increase was wiring and the cost yep. of wire, the cost of carpet, yep. the cost of lighting. Uh, drywall and actually the lumber to finish the the basement wasn't bad. It really wasn't. But to finish 800 square feet, I was just under. I was forty four thousand four hundred and three dollars. Yeah, I was going to guess forty to fifty grand. So that's that's not too bad. But you're you're right. I, I there's a home builder that lives just across the the street from me, um, and I was chatting with him and and you know. Year and a half ago, you could get a, a, a 250 foot roll of Romex, you know, um, 12 or 14 to Romex for 50 bucks. Now it's 250 bucks. So you're right on the wiring. Crazy. If you can get it. And get it. It, just, it just really stirs up. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of prices for, you know, what we thought it would be. And most of it, I was over, you know, 1500 1300 there. Uh, I saved on carpet, found a great deal from a carpet installer. But at the end of the day, if you're good at scrounging around, like finding somebody else's stuff that they, you know, they finished on a job and they had some left over and you can use it in your, your base, that's the way to go. Like the builder had some tile left over, probably about 300 feet, 400 feet. It was free. He says, just take it. So you kind of have to scrounge, and if you scrounge, you can you can win. But he's quoting for these type of basements now; they're about a hundred grand up here because nobody wants to do them unless they're they're doing six figures. So amazing times, amazing times. So uh, I felt the need to talk to you because what I'm reading with the broker report, the ERA real estate broker report, I'm looking at Washington County and I know I'd sent you this, but you may not be able to see it. Yeah, but, I've got I've got it up on my computer. So okay. I'll I'll follow along a little bit. So you got Washington County, which is a big part of St. George. Your listings are down from a one month to the next, down 31%. So there's no houses. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, it's down from 12% from last year, and it was painful last year. So now you're down 31%. The days on market, it's not even worth talking about because it's just so quick. These houses sell. 
you've got an average median sale price December 2020 of 395 and December 21st, 500,000. Now that's the median, the uh, uh, sales price. The average sales price, meaning just the average, take high and low, 592. That's a 31%. Jeff, explain this. And it was bad last year. I mean, the year before it was it was going. What's going on? Yeah, so j just to tag on to some of those statistics, here's a couple updated ones that include January. So January, the median sale price went up $6,200. So you, you're saying, okay, well, yeah, that's nothing in a, in a home price value, right? But you're talking $6,200 from December to January. Um, what, what are you paying in rent? You know, are you paying two grand a month? You're paying 1500 bucks. You're paying three grand a month in rent. Well, if you, if you bought a house a year ago or six months ago, you just gained $6,200 in equity in a month. Um, and it's, it, it's crazy. So the, the, the difference, well, and I'm talking from a St. George perspective. All right. So the, the difference between Southern Utah and Northern Utah is Southern Utah is um, it's a destination, right? There aren't a lot of people from, and, and there are, but there aren't people from, you know, Montana or, or Colorado or Minnesota that are saying, Hey, let's, let's retire to Orem or, or Harriman, you know, or, or Kaysville. There, there just aren't, but they're We're warm enough here, brother. You could right. Be, but you, you, you could, right. But the, the appeal to St. George, and I, I think between 2022 and maybe say 10 years ago or 15 years ago, is 15 years ago, St. George was known mostly as a retirement community, right? A snowbird place. Um, but I think the pandemic, um, you know, regardless on, you know, your feelings on it or, or whatever that may be, um, the pandemic really opened people's eyes to the fact that they're working from home and they can go anywhere. So if you're living in Los Angeles, and you've got a home that you can sell for $1.5 million, you can move to St. George and spend seven fifty and get a, a great home with a pool and in a view and be an hour away from, you know, from Zions. And um, you can head over to San hollow and hop on a boat. You can go to San mountain, tow your, you know, tow your ATV up or, you know, not even tow your ATV, just drive it on the streets over to San mountain. Um, you're an hour and a half North of Vegas. I think all of those things, um, are are bringing St. George to the limelight um, and people want to come here. They want to move here and there's no homes. And so you got people paying over asking price. You got agents that see, see the fact that we're in a seller's market and say, Hey, look, we can probably bump this price five, 10, 15 grand over what my CMA is coming out at. Um, and I have personal experience with that. I had a, a home that sold in October that, you know, we I, I thought we were overpricing it just a little bit at, at where we priced it. And it ended up selling 25 grand over where we asked cash from a family that wanted to get out of California. And these cash buyers, are they the nitpicky people that walk through the rooms, got a thousand things that need to be done to the house before they close? Or are they just saying, Hey, I'll take it as is. Both. I, I'm, I'm seeing both. Um, the, the particular example I just mentioned, those were people that just, they just wanted the house. And, and right now, um, I, cause I drive by it every day. I know where the house is at. It's in my neighborhood. Um, they're ripping it apart and updating it and, and, and stuff like that. So, um, but I, you know, I'm with people that, uh, you know, and I, I don't blame them. Hey, if I'm, you know, if I'm spending a million dollars, I want, I want what I want and I want it. A million dollars. I would have never thought you know, we're going to be chumming around looking for houses for a million bucks, but that's right. It's going to, that's kind of being, uh, I just got a report from Idaho that like in Boise, 3,500 square foot homes, a million bucks, 950 to mm -hmm. a million. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Who would want to move? Yeah. Not knock in Boise, but like you don't have anything there other than a great 
you know, great scenery and great people, but you don't have a warm winter like you guys. You're going to hit 70 degrees. This is, was taped in February. You guys are going to be 70. And that's great. Yeah. Right? Where can you go and get that, right? Right, yeah. And, and so there's a lot of variables that, that go into it. Um, you know, and, and just, you know, the million dollar, I've got some, some people that, uh, are buying a second home down here. Um, and they, uh, they've got, you know, a, a, about a million dollar budget. And, uh, I just, right before I got on here, did a quick search. I wanted to see what homes were for sale for, uh, up to, up to $1.5 million with a pool. Take a guess how many, and how many homes were on the market with a pool? 14. Let's say three. Yeah. Un it's un it's unbelievable so it, it, i mean five years ago you can have your pick of just about anything down there for a million bucks it buys you oh, yeah. a garage an rv garage it was all that yeah so, here's here's a little perspective on on that I, I mean we're not even talking 10 years ago we're talking three years ago where in 2018 there were there were about to tw between 2,000 and 2,500 homes for sale at any one time in, in Washington County on the Washington County MLS. Currently, there's less than that in all of Utah for sale. Yeah, I'll give you a little perspective on the, on the inventory situation. So if you're a seller and you're sitting across the kitchen table from your husband or wife or a significant other, and you're trying to figure out time uh, for whatever reason, you've got maybe a rental property, you're getting tired of renting. I uh, tell them, Jeff, is, is it going to be really hard for them to find a buyer at a price that they're, I mean, let me go this route. I'm going to bet that most people don't really know what their house is worth. They get an idea six months ago, they stick it in their mind, and all of a sudden, Six months later, you're you're at a fire sale price, and you kind of say, "Well, if I got 800, that's my target." It's not like that anymore. Go ahead and and give us your observation of somebody sitting at a kitchen table and thinking of, of listing. It's a hard conversation. So what I would what I would assume, and we can talk about a few different scenarios. But what I'm I'm going to assume is you've got a. a um, a couple sitting at the, the kitchen table um, and they're talking about selling their home. I'm going to assume that they probably have an idea of where they want to go, whether they're moving out of state um, are, you know, if they're selling their primary residence, maybe they're being relocated. Um, if, if they're talking about a, um, a rental property that they're sick of um, let's take that for an example. Um, maybe they've had this rental it's 90 percent of it's paid off or all of it's paid off um you know they've had some good renters they've had some bad renters they're just sick of it they're sick of being a landlord that would be a property that they could they could almost do nothing to um snap some pictures maybe organize it a little bit and it's going to be sold pretty quickly whether it's to an to another investor or to someone that's looking for a primary residence, they're going to have no problem, no problem selling it. Um, your hands of that and move on to next yeah. chapter in your life. Right? right, and a lot of investors are are normally when they wouldn't, they would they would overpay for it to get the property and and uh, capitalize on the market. So, um, but if it's a couple that you know they're selling their primary residence, I, I would as an agent. Um, cause I, look, I'm, I'm realistic. Like I, I, the way I operate in, in real estate is, um, I'm about relationships. I'm about solving problems. I'm about, um, um, uh, being presented a challenge and working through my mind and, 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 um, and through my experience and other people's experience on how we can tackle that challenge. Um, I, I'm not an agent that is interested in um you know the next the next check the next deal and that you know I, i'm about relationships and and solving problems because that's what the real estate aid, that's what the real estate industry needs in, in my opinion more of so from from that perspective what i'm going to tell you know mary and bob that are sitting at their table thinking hey where do we go next 
figure that out because it's, it's tough. So as an agent, I'm going to come in and say, Hey, look, in this market, we need to find where you're going first. When we find where you're going, we're going to list your house and, and any agent or at least savvy agent or, or business person is going to understand that, Hey, look, I've got Mary and Bob over here that, that are selling their house. Their house is going to sell in a week. I don't have to worry about any sort of contingency. So if you're moving out of state, you're in luck. But if you want to stay in St. George, it's going to be tough. You're going to sell your house, but then you're going to be homeless and you're going to be spending every minute of every hour of every day looking at homes and trying to find one. I, I sympathize. I've been looking in St. George for about five years now. Just yeah. my sister lives there. She'll say, hey, go look at this house. And I wish I could go back three years. I could have bought property on, on, on golf courses for 80,000. Uh, yeah. They had blue clay issues, but that's nothing, right? Just there's this moment in time. And when I look at selling or buying, if you can hit the market where it's strong, we never know where that's gonna collapse, but interest rates going up is, is one indicator that could slow a market down. If yep. you can figure out timing, it's probably 50 to 100 grand in your pocket if you just get the timing. If you can't find a house, like you're saying, and you search all over St. George and you're looking, you're swimming around trying to find something, you may be surprised that you're going to need all that money. You're going to need all the dough. And the price of houses, are going up, like you were saying, like median 592 average sale price. And this is, you know, Washington County. It's it's okay, mm -hmm. it's good, right? But yeah, that's that's pretty impressive for Washington County of what they got going on. 28% year over year change on a 12 month average of median sales price. That's over 2% a month. So if you have a house worth a million dollars, I'm just making this up, right? But just figure this out. Say your house is worth a million dollars. It goes up 2%. 2% is $20,000. Unless my math is wrong. 20 grand every month. That's like $750 a day things are changing. Now that's the good news. The bad news, it's probably changing $750 a day for something you want to buy or more. So those are extreme numbers, but those are realistic. And I, I mean, it's just a good time. And what Jeff's saying is you don't have to push the button right now. I'm a relationship guy, meaning let's start in the beginning, analyze right where you're at. Let's see if it's the right time for you. And let's figure it out in long term that you make a good decision and not a desperate one. And I think yeah, I, what you said. I, 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 I think you, you put the words in a, a much better form than I could. But, but it, you know, I, I've, told, I've told maybe to, you know, to, to my chagrin, I've told a few different people that, hey, look, it is, it is not the right time to sell for you. Um, and, uh, and most of the time it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what the agent says. The agent should be there to, to present the facts, um, to, to give um, professional opinions on what's going on and, and take, take life scenarios and put them into, you know, the, the real estate industry. Um, and it's, uh, um, it's important to, to think about those things when you are making a huge transaction to have those people in your, in your wheelhouse to, to help you navigate that stuff. Cause it's, it's tough. This is an unprecedented time. Um, I chat about this stuff with other agents and with my broker and with my friends and, and family. Um, it's unprecedented. Nobody knows, nobody knows what's going on. You know, there's, there's indicators that you can say, Hey, this is why this is happening. This is why that is happening. Simple economics say that, you know, supply and demand is, um, is is real and i and i agree with it but we've never seen anything like this the vehicles that led to the the 2008 financial crisis don't exist right now there's no bubble um and so there's on water and they've got equity in their homes right 
Right. Yep. And uh, I mean, nobody saw, a, a, you know, a global pandemic coming. And, and if you remember in early 2020, there was a lot of hesitation when it came to the market. Nobody not, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody, nobody knew what was going to happen in 2020, let alone 2021. Um, and, and in February of 2022, we look back and we say, there's no way we would have been able to guess that 2022 is going to do what, it, what it's going to do. Um, it's done. And so it can just go any higher. Yeah. Yeah. And I, th I think it can, and I think it will. I really do not. It, 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 you know, you made a comment to me earlier via text that it's not, it's not sustainable. And I don't think it is. I think higher interest rates will help calm down some elevated and, and overinflated pricing. Um, Cause people that can afford a million dollar home at interest rates at, at 3% or two and a half percent, they won't be able to afford a million dollar home at four and a half percent or 5%. And so you know, people, people get hung up on those interest rates and think, well, 5%, that's, that's outlandish. Are you kidding me? But I, I mean, back in the eighties, you remember what, what uh, interest rates were? Yes. I, I bought a house in the seventies where it was 21%. Right. And so, you know, you start thinking 10%, 13%, 8%, 8%, those numbers seem insane, but historically those are great rates and a little bit healthier in my opinion. And so I think um, rate rate hikes are going to happen. They've already happened. They're going to keep happening. It's going to be good. Um, I think specifically the Southern Utah market in St. George will continue to be a hot market. Um, I don't know if you've seen what's going on with Tech Ridge. That's going to be an epicenter, an epicenter, an economic hub for St. George. Again? It's called Tech Ridge. So yeah. if you remember where the old airport is. The airport. Yep, up at the old airport. Um, some of the renderings that are coming out for the office space, and um, there's going to be condos and, and they're residential. There's going to be um, millions of square feet of office space. There's going to be um, a, a couple of hotels. There's going to be restaurants up there. There's going to be a sky bridge that hangs off the side of the mountain. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, so you give this place five years and you may see the Salt Lake market slow down a little bit. You know, you may see a little bit of a shift. I think we're going to be in a seller's market nationwide for, for the next few years. But with what's happening in St. George and the, the economic, um, not only the current economic stability, but what, what the um, public and private leaders down here want to do, it, it's the, the 10 to 15 year um, business plan in St. George is to the moon. I... I just met with a land baron on Thursday or Friday, Thursday uh, last week that owns hundreds of acres in St. George. And the vision that they have for St. George is it's going to a million people and it'll have a population eventually somewhere around a million, probably within the next 20 years. Yeah, I, I think that's, um, well, you know, you, I mentioned um, the, the ec economic summit we did down here a few weeks ago, Southern Utah Economic Summit. Um, and the University of Utah did a study um, about uh, the sustainability of, uh, or not, not necessarily the sustainability, but how the, the land in and of itself, how many people it can hold for residential, commercial, and, and St. George, you've got all these hills and plateaus and, and, and mountains and stuff like that. And so it may not seem like it, but what the, the study said was Washington County alone with room to spare can handle about 800,000 people. Not to say that that's where the population is going to go, but I think it's fairly reasonable to say that it, it'll be at least 500,000 people between, you know, in, you know, 20 to 30 years. So, you know, if that's the long-term play here, and, and you're looking to buy a house, I would buy a house now, you know, because if you bought a house in 2007 and you had a long-term play, you're ahead now versus where you were in 2008. Of course, it, it, you know, you probably would have been pretty nervous in eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you know, for four or five years, but yeah. real estate historically is a, a good investment. And, uh, and if you think about it, it's the only tangible asset that you can, you know, you can put your money into. I, I'm seeing it every day as a competitor to the stock market in terms of return on investment, having something solid and having several options.
rent, sell, trade, borrow, 1090 exchange, mm -hmm. whatever it is, right? You've got, you have options. So I, I'm not promoting investing real estate or buying real estate, but if you're watching this, even as a, a consumer, and I'm, Jeff, I get letters probably twice a week or three times a week, and I had one that's very lengthy from a person in the Midwest that is a professional that wants to retire and come to the St. George area. And they're asking me my opinion of where to go and what to do. And I just say, uh, look at the parks, look if you're an outdoorsy person, uh, it's ground zero. And it isn't as hot as Las Vegas, but it's, um, you know, we can stand July and August. I think you got a perfect place to go and to retire. So um, it's amazing how many people are trying to contemplate. I'm seeing now the East Midwest where it was California, I'm seeing a lot more people considering, you know, Nevada, California, excuse me, Nevada, Utah and Arizona, Idaho as a consideration. Yeah, there's not a lot of places in the country that you can have great weather most of the year. I mean, even in the July and August, I mean, you could head up to Pine Valley and be out of the heat in half an hour. You know, you could head over to Zion National Park and, and do some hiking a little bit cooler. Kanab is beautiful and can do, do some hiking in the middle of the summer. Um, we've got Lake Mead that's an hour and a half away. We've got Lake Powell that's two hours away. Um, you want to go down and have some, my wife and I just a few weeks ago went and had some sushi down in Vegas just for the night, drove down, had some sushi, drove back. It was great, you know. Um, there's not a lot of places that well, are like that. Um, sushi, but yeah, no, I get it. There's a million yeah. restaurants in that place. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, all, all of those things, I mean, we could keep, we could go on and on and on. Um, I, I know I could, and I, you know, I'll speak to your point. I, I, I will promote um, buying, buying real estate from an investment standpoint and just, you know, if you're, you're renting um, and you can scrounge together closing costs and, and, and a few thousand dollars, um, whether it's drawn on a 401k or, or borrowing money from a family member, whatever, if you can get into a home, do it. It, it, it long-term, it will benefit you um, in probably more ways than, than you can imagine. That's not just the, the real estate agent in me talking, that's the, the human being in me talking as well, because um, it's, it's the only tangible asset that you can put your money into. It's, it's a great inflation uh, shelter. I mean, if you've got money sitting in a savings account right now with the rate of inflation going up, you're losing money. Um, just, I mean, $6,200 on the median home price in a month. Where else can you get that type of return? And even if we get a slowdown in a market, you're still going to own a piece of property um, that you can, you can fall back on. And like you said, it's this inflation thing. My daughter works at a luxury car dealership in three to $10,000 over sticker right now because money is so available and mm -hmm. you can't find the car. So now the price of new cars go up. You, whatever you're driving is gone up. My truck, I sold more than what I bought it for. And it's just crazy right now. But to understand the insanity, you need a guy like Jeff or somebody that'll say, here's your options because it's just not about selling the house and getting a net number. It's about where you're going to go, when's the timing right, and what's going on. Now, you've got um, the home show coming up. Why don't you tell us what that will close? Tell us what, what people can expect with the, uh, the St. George Home Show. Yeah, that's a good plug. Um, and if, if anybody needs some, some free tickets, I can, I can hook you up. Tickets are about 20 bucks a piece, and if you need some, I'll, I'll hook you up. But the show starts February 18th, uh, goes through the 27th. Um, there's 29 homes that are on the on the list that range all the way from, you know, a $500,000 new sales price all the way up to, I think there's some that are four four million plus, um, and uh, it's a good way to get an idea of what is happening in St. George. A few years ago, the Parade of Homes was just kind of like a kind of an afterthought, but now you've got people from all over the country that come in just for the Parade of Homes. Uh, um, and sorry again. What are the dates again? February 18th through the 27th. So this month in a week? Starts, starts in a week, starts on Saturday. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, this yep. 
Yeah. You've been paying attention. Usually rains during that week, right? Like everybody. <laughs> But this, yeah. I think you're going to be safe this this time. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll be all right. Um, what you, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of different range of homes. Um, one of the things that I find interesting uh, about the parade of homes, especially this year, is what it does is it's get, it gives us an insight into what's happening in some of the outskirts away from St. George. For example, take a look at Copper Rock Golf Course. Some of the vacation rentals and luxury homes that are going up out of Copper Rock. You're going to see homes that are filled in all from Southern uh, Hurricane all the way down and around Sand Hollow. There's going to be homes filled in all over there that are already approved that maybe just haven't started being built being built yet. Um, Dr. Horton's building homes, Richmond America's building homes. Um, you've got custom homes being built out uh, out at, at Copper Rock. There's some land for sale. There's a, a little area called Moccasin Flats that uh, there's a, a, a parade of uh, a parade home on. You know, $4 million, there's a 9,000 square foot home being built, built out there. So people want to be out there. Millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, they want to be out there. Um, and uh, uh, it, it really showed that stuff wouldn't be happening if there wasn't an economic forecast that was very positive for Southern Utah. I'm trying to think I've traveled 48 of the 50 states, 2 million miles plus. I've seen every major city. And I really like Florida. I really like Southern California and part of Northern California. But if I wanted to go to Southern California or even Northern, I'm I'm a million dollars for a shack, you know, just to say I live there. If I want to go to Florida, I think the prices are about the same as they are in St. George. They they're kind of run about the same unless you're right on the ocean. But then you got 20 million people there. Like you got a ton of people you got to deal with and hurricanes, right? So this is the place if you were, I think you should, if, if you're kind of trying to figure this out, Jeff's a good guy to communicate. If you're thinking of listing a house, Jeff might be good to, to communicate. If you're thinking of buying, and, you, and that's the question I get. I was just trying to read a letter I just got last night and these are professionals that are writing me and they're not writing me with just one sentence. I'm getting paragraphs of what they're looking for and the lifestyle and it fits. They just don't know anything about St. George. And that's why I'm doing these videos is I want people to understand that there are some great places left in the United States to go to and St. George, that area, and you could probably go down as far as Mesquite is probably still one of the hidden gems. Uh, Mesquite, that's another day and a whole different demographic, but still an area, if you're really on a budget, could be an area to look at. But Jeff, how do they get a hold of you? Do you have a, a phone number that we can put up? And I'll put it up on the on the YouTube channel, but where could they reach you? Yeah, I, I've got my phone in my pocket all day long. Uh, best way to call me is 435 nine two two zero zero one two um and i'll send uh, you, you've got my email address i can put my email address up as well but uh, i think a comment on the youtube channel or you can find me at find me on facebook jeff r watkins instagram jeff r watkins and send me an email send me a send me a message and we'll uh, we'll connect and i'm close to fifty thousand views on everything on youtube on st george it's crazy and not really one negative comment on you know, like, yeah. you know it's a, it's a, it's amazing people are trying to figure this out don't do this on your own don't try to sell your house on your own don't list it on facebook you're going to you're going to undersell and you're going to end up with the crazies cuz the mooches are thinking the same thing i need to not use an agent so let me find the youtube they're going to walk through your house and who who knows who they are you need to do this the right way the few points that an agent takes is going to be well worth the investment. So that's just that's just me. Normally, I could probably go make a offer, but sooner or later, if you didn't talk to an agent, you're not in the mix on what's really going on. Yeah, that's a that's a great point. I think uh, you know statistics show that you know for sale by owners generally will will sell for twenty percent less. You know, and then you hear the the you know the traditional six percent real estate agent fees are just insane and outlandish but it's like hey if i gotta 
you got to spend 6% to keep an extra 14. My, I don't know how my math checks out, but it checks out to me. So, Well, and get a right kind of buyer. Like you, you mm-hmm. want to get a buyer that fits the, the property or fits what you're trying to accomplish as a seller. And you can get complicated. I'll, I'm going to do a story sometime on disclosures and what if you think you're smart, not disclose something, and that could come back and bite you even when you sell privately. So it's, yep. it's a world where we'll probably never see this in at least my lifetime where there's so much excitement and energy. I think you're going to get a chance to move to somewhere if you're older and you're trying to retire and you're going to find four of the five places that you're looking at are just too much money. So St. Yep. George, uh, $200 a square feet used, three to 400 new is a bargain. And you got the home show coming up next week. If you need tickets, just tag Jeff or text him and he'll work something out. Is that correct? I'll hook you up for sure. I might be calling you. I got to go down there next week, so maybe we'll get together. Let's right. go. Anything else, Jeff, that we're not telling the viewers? Um, we could go on and on, Bill. I, I appreciate your time. I think uh, I think these interviews are are fantastic. And if if you're if you're serious about St. George, if you're serious about relocating, um, go back and watch some of the other video videos that Bill's done with or, or without me. There's some good content. Um, all in all, it's uh, it's good to just sit and chat and have people uh, listen and comment. And, and really, we're here to, you know, you and I are both here to solve people's problems and, and at least try to make some snippet of a difference in the in the world out there because it's it's crazy sometimes. So but I, I appreciate your time. It's uh, it's great to great to chat and catch up. Thank you. Just one little tidbit. This was a client of mine. Three years ago, they were knocking 40% off RVs, 40% off. You could buy a mm-hmm. classic motorhome for $180,000. Now that same motorhome's almost $100,000 more and no 40% off. That's how quick the world changes. You're, you're going to pay a third more for a motorhome and pay another $10,000 for a new luxury car. You have to yep. look at the fact we're in an inflation world and you got to hang on to mm-hmm. some property to, to to gain leverage on what's going on out there right and it's not gonna the nice the good news is it's not gonna last it can't it won't but what if it lasts for three years that five hundred thousand dollar home or hundred thousand dollar rv is going to be way more than what it was today so it's a good point i'm making 300 to 500 dollars a day sitting here in my you know i'd make a great day job right so right it's 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 good right now and i want to share to people if they're sitting on the fence please talk to you this guy's normal and and can at least help you get through some of your anxiety or questions or frustrations or moving he's got all the answers jeff thank you very much i'll uh i'll talk to you later on we'll do a few more of these thanks bill great have a great day